All right, hello everyone. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna to show everybody how I built this solar pavilion for under a thousand dollars. And one of the most expensive things to build a pavilion like this is the lumber. But I saved a lot of money on lumber because I used scraps off the job. I'm a certified tower crane operator. And so I was on big jobs doing a lot of craning and I'd bring the scraps off the job and built this whole pavilion. So for the rafters, I built those with two by fours. You take your two by fours, spread them. So you're gonna offset your your joints, put glue between them, and then I put these on an I-beam and clamped them down. And that's how I made the rafters. And then for the post and the beams, I used two by six for them. Same thing, offset them. The difference is on the post is as I was building these, I actually put some smaller boards on there like this. So I've got a channel built into my beams for my wiring. So here's where I put the channel. So I put just two boards down. So it's mostly up to the top, but that's where the channel is. After I ran my wires, put this board in there, plug it off. So this has a channel right down the middle of it. I added these switches here, outlet, goes down into the concrete and into the house. Back this way, up along here. Got an outlet right here. This one's hooked to a switch, so it runs the lights. Then the wire comes all the way down to here, down this post, ends right there. I've got another outlet right here. So this whole side's AC power, 110 volts. This was really nice having an outlet right here because I'd pull my golf cart over here and I'd charge it off this outlet before I put solar panels on it. So this side of the pavilion has the DC power for the panels. Now this post is solid. It doesn't have a channel in it. This big beam up here has a channel all the way from one end to the other. As you can see, the solar wires are coming in there, across, they're coming in here. And then this post has a channel in it going down into the ground and then into the charge controllers. We've got two FlexMax 80s running this power system here. This whole side is DC and that whole side of the pavilion is AC because you can't run DC and AC lines in the same conduits. So keep them separate. You can't take electricity going like this and direct current. They don't like each other in the same conduit. All right, so I got the big brackets on the bottom, and then I've got a strap here on both sides. And these are screwed on. The reason I use screws is because nails have a tendency of working their way out after a while, so I screwed everything. So you got this strap on the rafters. I've got A35s on both sides, screwed onto those to keep the uplift so that this thing don't just fly away on us. All right, the lights we have around the edges of the pavilion here are powered by solar. They have their own solar panel and a battery bank, and when it gets dark, they automatically come on and they run until they run out of power. There's 18 solar panels on this pavilion. Each solar panel is 250 watts. You have 4,500 watts of electricity coming off of this pavilion. It's pretty dang sweet. So I've got three panels hooked in a series. You got one, two, three panels hooked in series, giving you around 90 volts in each series. And then those series are paralleled to the next three panels and paralleled to the next three panels. And how these are attached is I've got deck screws with a washer that's been painted black and they're screwed between the panels. As you can see right here, holds the panels an eighth of an inch apart and they put silicone between all the panels to make one solid waterproof roof where you can just hang out and enjoy barbecuing when it's raining. The ends are fastened with just a deck screw. Took a drill bit, drilled a hole on an angle, and then put a deck screw in. It's got four deck screws on each edge, all the way up and down. Solid, solid good stuff. Okay, so I've got four foot LED shop lights on the inside here to light it up, and I put spotlights on the front. Out of this whole pavilion, the solar panels are the most expensive part. And they weren't even that expensive. They're $40 a panel, $720 for all the solar panels on this, which is cheaper than a roof. So I built this whole thing really cheap. And remember when we hit 10,000 subscribers, we're giving away $1,000. I'll catch you in the next video.